Did you know a fishing trip became the first hydrogen bomb horror story? On March 1, 1954, 23 Japanese fishermen aboard Lucky Dragon No. 5 were casting nets near Bikini Atoll. They thought 80 miles was safe from the American bomb test. It was just another sunrise, another day hunting tuna in Pacific waters. Then the sky exploded. A flash brighter than the sun turned night into day for seconds. Hours later, white ash began falling like snow onto their boat. The crew laughed, catching flakes on their tongues, thinking it was coral dust. But within hours, crew member Aikichi Kuboyama started vomiting blood. His skin burned. His hair fell out in clumps. The bomb was 1,000 times more powerful than expected. Radiation was destroying his blood cells from the inside. Six months later, he died, becoming the hydrogen bomb's first victim. Today, 70 years later, Bikini Atoll remains poisoned, and 167 islanders still cannot return home.